I'm Abe Schoenberg. I'm the son of Holocaust survivors. My parents were from Warsaw, Poland, and they came to this country via different routes. We grew up in the Lower East Side in a, in a fascinating world of Judaism, but they also wanted to become modern. So my father did not have a beard, wore a gray suit, uh, went into the real estate business, you know, and invested in a, you know, in a nursing home here and there. You know, he, he lived the American dream. I went to Rabbi Jacob Joseph School from kindergarten and on, uh, through college, which I went to Brooklyn College, City of New York, Flatbush Campus. A lot of people went there. Even though I lived in the Lower East Side, that was the college to be at. So we learned the Torah, we studied the Torah, and the more you study, the more you live the Torah. Well, I, I became a rabbi, as a, as a legitimate rabbi, I have smicha, along with uh, 17 other people who lasted, the, you know, we started with like 60, went down to 40, 30. You have to go through a two or three year program. So you learn all the laws of how to prepare food and meat and this and that, and, and then you go into the actual day of the actual laws. I first heard about Transcendental Meditation from Joanna Plavsky, who was a governor and a teacher at the time. This was about 10 years ago, and we had met on a movie deal. But um, I wanted to learn more, and I asked her to, to show me what it was all about. And she played some Maharishi tapes, and every tape I listened to, the Maharishi speaking, and he's not my rabbi, he's not my spiritual you know, mentor, but everything he said was exactly on par with the Torah. I, I couldn't believe it. Not a word off. I said, this is not New Age, this is the wisdom of the ages. They're different because that's the Torah and that's the Baba Vegeta, whatever you, he brings it from, but the wisdom, the thought process was the same. He came to the same conclusion that the greatest rabbis would do. Yet you can't just, and as a Jew, just follow the Marishi, but the Marishi would tell you himself, I heard him say it, go and be a good Jew now. I believe about a year later, uh, he asked her to teach me meditation and uh, become a, a meditator. And I did the 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes in the afternoon. I have to admit, I don't always do the afternoon. I'm in New York. It's crazy. And, and I've heard the Marishi say, if you can't do 20, to do 15. Just do it. And it leads me to better prayer, better service. And I feel I'm on more of a path to God uh, than ever. Med med meditation, TM, is nothing like a religion because no one has to do anything. You have to follow your own path in it. You have to find yourself within TM. And you could be a great Jew. You could be a great Catholic, Christian, Protestant, Presbyterian, whatever. Okay, maybe not a Presbyterian. That was just a joke. But, but you could be whatever you want to be on your path to God. It doesn't talk about God. It just opens yourself up to God because that's the God within us. And that's the beauty of TM. It's a procedure, a technology, a method, a practice. It's not religion at all. Zero. And the Maharishi would be the first to tell you, be a good whatever you are from whatever background you have. And don't follow me. Don't pray to me. Don't bow to me. There's no idols involved. If, if you ever see someone in TM do that, it's not what the Maharishi told you to do. Jews do meditate. We have our meditations, we have our prayer services. So there's a very big you know, equanimity in terms of taking out a part of your day for spiritual awareness or spiritual growth. I, I'm, I'm a practicing Orthodox Jew. I wake up every morning, I daven shachris, I go to the minyan, I only eat kosher, I wear the right clothes, I, I'm, I'm a Sabbath observer, I don't mince a anything you know, in, in, in my observance. If you ask me what the essence of me is, it's always an Orthodox Jew before, before anything else, and that's the essence of me. And for nine years now, I've practiced meditation, and it's only made me a better practicing Jew. It's got me more in touch with my soul. It's a technique. That's all it is. Not a religion. It's a technique to make you a better you, whoever you are. So I happen to be a practicing Orthodox Jew. I'm a better practicing Orthodox Jew. And it's even more meaningful to me having that technique of getting more in touch with my soul each and every day.